So what's up everyone? Good to be back with more uh, Wukong Black Math. And uh, yeah, let's continue on where we were um, to find uh, these secret bosses. Um, I think there's like only three left that I can see here in chapter two. And uh, yeah, that means we'll have done practically all the bosses in chapter 2 that I can see or know of. So yeah, with that being said, make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe. Tell your friends and tell your family. It's absolutely free and doesn't cost anything. And... Let's continue with more Wukong. I okay, have to like go to a shrine because we just bought the sobering stone. So let's see, if we, let's see if we can find ourselves a shrine. Here we are. And what we want to do is, is we want to go to. Fight Cliff. Rock, uh, rock, crest, flat. This is where we get to talk to, um, he's called the Drunken Boar. And um, we have to essentially deliver this sobering thing to him. So I'm assuming he's, um, he's drunk. But I think you get one anyway on the quest, you don't really have to buy it, I'm pretty sure. But I've bought one anyway. Must his head be hung for all to see. For what deed? Must the so I may have just spent money on it for nothing. But it doesn't really matter. Let's collect these. Okay. So I guess this is like the, the gate there that you... Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> Raise thy cup, seek answers on high. Who defies death neath every sky? Oh, I messed up my mission. Go find something to sober me up. You woke me up. Thanks. <laughs> Enough with the chit chat. My belly's growling. <laughs> <laughs> I must quench this rumbling in my belly first. The temple of Crouching Tiger. They say there's meat there. Worth a look. Um. So, does that want me to... The feast first, then the toil. Hunger brings those. So, I think it wants me to go to... I want me to go to... Uh... I think it wants me to go here to the, the entrance.
And uh, when we get to the entrance here. Offer. Um Now I think he's around here somewhere That is there, okay. Oh, this putrid rat meat is insufferable. Uh, help me score a tasty treat, will you? I drive me mad. I've been craving a taste of that juicy jade lotus. Can you find me some in this barren land? Yeah, here you go. Wait, I don't have it? I thought I had it. Let's just make it then. Bruh. Make medicines. Bye. Wait, what? Um oh, Wow <laughs> I'm lucky I can actually buy this <laughs> There's only 90 as well, you know what I mean? It's not even expensive. Oh, I wouldn't mind some meatless meals from time to time. Hmm, I have stumbled upon some interesting leads. The realm of gold does hold a connection to this desolate land. I hear the realm of gold is where the sun sets. There, they held rats above all others. Mm. And somehow, before we knew it, the realm was gone. Quite odd, that is. Mm. I just tried those rat guys. They taste like men flesh. <laughs> mm. Its people are not yet extinct. I suspect the Yellow Wind Guai had a role in their downfall. Our senior brother gave me a piece of gold. I'll need it here when the time's right, he said. <sighs> it's the right time now. I'm taking it to the right place to give it a try. <sighs> I just tried those rat guais. Okay. They taste like men. So uh, I think what we have to do is, is go back to where we first met him. So let's go.
And... Let's go to here. Go back here. I'm thinking this anyway, I could be wrong. But I think like I have to go like back down here again. I mean, he's not here. Oh, there he's there. Uh oh. Okay. Source of power, so the rat stayed. 
He sees the tongue monk using the new power and battles with Soon Wukong upon the Yellow Wind Ridge. The Gwai's formidable winds fail the vast expanse of the sky. Were it not for Bodhisattva Linji, Tung Monk's quest for the scriptures would have failed. Yet, stripped of the rat's protection, the kingdom was plunged into a state of ruin. The once lush Yellow Wind Ridge now lies a desolate wasteland. Huh, cool. Cutscenes are really good. Like, they're enjoyable. I think that's just like your traditional, like, um, your sort of Chinese, Japanese sort of like take towards games. They do it really well. Okay, so this is actually a secret region on chapter 2, where we've got two secret bosses inside. Okay, now I don't think there's anything in here, is there? No. Any new armor? No. Okay. Do I have points actually? No. Hold it. You traveler. Oh. Where you belong. Tiger Vanguard. Meet your end here. I am the van. You scorn my words. Now, is this guy going to be as bad as the first one? Just, uh, why did I not just kill him? Why did it, uh, you know, I was doing there? Try to do a big heavy. I should have just hit him. Yeah, I just ruined that there for myself. That's just silly. I don't know why I done that, but yeah. He's not actually anywhere close to badness is the first time, so. That's a good thing. We'll get him this time. We had him there anyway. I was just... I done stupid. I should have just hit him instead of like trying to do a big heavy attack. Heavy attack. Okay. 
So he was nowhere near as bad as the first time. Our king comes from Mount Lingshan. His kind heart seeks to end the place's suffering. The Yaogwai's skills run deep, yet with your help, our chances will be doubled. <laughs> Kingdom of Sahali. And the next boss, I think, is called... Uh, his name is Fuban. <laughs> Fuban. And I think this is Fuban up here. Fuban. Fuban. Oh, I've no mana, actually. <laughs> um... You bested my vanguard. <laughs> then you do indeed have skills. That Yaogwai must have some vessel that counters me. Even my Samadhi wind can't hurt it. <sighs> there is only one way to draw out this Yaogwai. I'll sound the drums and it'll come forth. If you are willing, I ask you to seize its vessel at the right time. Then the Yaogwai will be mine. I bring you from the sand, Uban. end of the world. Each day, the sun sets and boils the sea. The boiling hiss is sharp enough to ravage babies in their cradles. The people sound drums to counter the impact, but the drums draw this Yaogwa. I guess I have to... Oh. I like to do my heavy. Don't do that, Furban. Stop it. Oh, I hit you in the way back as well. Okay. Ah! 
Ow! Ow! What the root? Boobon! Who does it? Oh, I've just wasted my... Stop it, Vuban! Awesome. <laughs> so that was like the two bosses that were inside this area. There's one more, um... It's like a sandfall. Um... I abide, uh, wind tamer, I abide by the Buddhist here, subdue to you. Sky piercing horn. Oh, oh, it's actually in here? 
upon activation, Marshall increases damage reduction for a short duration and grants immunity to strong winds. Hello? This one's like fire immunity, so let's um, just take that away because I don't... I'm not really using it. This one likes the wind and stuff, so... Give that a try. Now, these little guys are pretty strong. Oh, I need two sparks now. So you've got, like, increase... Hmm. I guess I want to go to this one, huh? Moderate amount of focus for each successful light attack. Complete cost of considerable... Hmm. I don't know, we'll see if we may actually, like, get there. We'll just keep that that point for now. Okay, the last guy here, um... The final boss in the chapter 2 is... Black Long, a very easily missed Yagui King. Um, he resides behind a sand waterfall. So, let's... Go back to a shrine. Now, once I do that, there's like all the bosses are like pretty much done. Um, as in like all 17 of them. Oh, we've got new armor. <laughs> Look at that. Upon taking medicines, grants considerable focus. And it gives you, like, defense. What is that I'm on right now? Perfect dodges. It gives you focus. Like, it just cool down for all spells. That's pretty, that's good, though. Oh, look at that, though. It puts your defense up. Point taking medicines. Grants considerable focus. And increases his duration of the medicine effects as well. But that's like, is it... That's not gold, is it? That's... And there actually isn't even, like, a body one, so... No, well, let's craft it. Gold iron sleeves. Gold iron sleeves. Okay, what does the hat give? It doesn't really count though, does it? It gives you a little bit on the... You know what? We'll just keep it on. We'll just keep it on. It doesn't matter. I think ideally though, you want to like have everything all together. Um. Now... For what deeds must his head be hung for all to see? Wait a minute. Must the waters they go? Yeah, he's up here. For what deeds? 
must all matters not known how to be. For what deed must mercy's hands You've got to be kidding me on right now. Like, uh, here I'm all just sitting there. Yeah, kill me. I don't really give a fuck. I want to hear what he's saying. And instead, I'm literally getting attacked from behind with the stupidest fucking AI ever. Now the chances is he's not going to talk anymore because you're this fucking dumb fuck. You fucking dummy eye. Can't even happen. Just to take damage off you, that's all it fucking is. Well, oh, it's just dumb shit to get you fucking. You're not even dead? Unbelievable. Okay, let's see what this guy's all about. So this is the final boss in chapter 2 and his name is called a black long. It's the same as the, the red long in chapter 1 and you use the exact same um, what do you call it? As Azure dust or something which you pick up in chapter 2 at the very beginning. What the fuck? Okay. You see that there? That was like... That was like 10... 10 slams there. It was like... Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. That was like 10 massive slams there. This is not going to be fun at all. This is definitely not going to be fun. Unfortunately. Those slams there. I don't know why I jumped. Let's just see what he's.
Okay. Nugoni wanted to get his health down at least but just nearly halfway before you start using all your abilities on this guy. So up in this potion out as well. It's, it's not. It's not good. It's not fucking good. The potion shat. Uh, the potion shat. Uh, Pesh shat. Fucking potion. You get, you get full fucking screen on that, do you, bitch, yeah? Is that what you get? You get full screen on that, fucker. That's fucking bullshit. Yeah, he's little wavy, shitey fucking electric waves. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're looking on to our third boss in the game that's just tediously shit, unfortunately. Did 
just jump in. You just jump in. Just jump his little spot. Just jump his little sparks. Fuck off. Boring. Boring. I don't want to jump his stupid electric shitey sparks, okay? You understand? can't even you can't even jump you can't jump actually can't even jump, that's the best of it. You actually can't fucking jump. Absolutely ridiculous. Shit boss. Look at that. Look at that. Ah, oh, he's a fucking pathetic boss. I'm sorry. Can't wait to beat him. He's so shit. Okay, there's rocks there, eh? Ha <laughs> ha! 
No! You don't even know when he's actually going to do that, by the way, as well. There's no way in knowing when he's actually going to do that fucking slam. I know how he, uh, how he do it, though. I know how he beat his bullshit now. The trick is just to fucking stay at the rock. So when he does it, you can just jump. He's, why not, he's a fucking shit boss. He is a shit boss. Let party do that. I'm fucking tired fighting this guy already. He's so fucking boring. He's so fucking boring. He's shit. Shit. Zero fun on this boss as well. So we've got the bear, we've got the tiger, and we've got fucking this one as well. The electric fucking pish, I call it. Do you know what it is? You don't just don't lock on to him. Don't lock on to him. Don't lock on to him. You can't lock on to him because it's too slow when you're moving backwards and fucking sideways and all that shit. Because you're locked in, so you can, like you're stuck facing forward. So you can't lock in with this guy. You just fight him normal. You just run to him and then you've got the freedom to run about and do what the fuck you want. To fight all the bullshit, the terrible fucking targeting system.
Monkey man! Oh my fucking oh. You know what that is there? He was nearly beat so they just jumped straight to that bullshit mechanic there. And do you know what happened? What was wrong? I fucking locked in on him. That's what happened. I must have been locked in on him because trying to move back was like trying to push a fucking disabled... Oh, whatever. I'm really salty right now because this guy is absolute bullshit is what he is. And I hate bullshit in video games. I hate fucking bullshit in video games. Hate it. Despise it. It's like a fucking plague in the society. nothing there. There's nothing there. He's destroyed all the rocks. He's destroyed all the rocks and so there's nothing to jump onto. Fucking retardation. Um, it's retardation land right now. Horrendous. Boss. Horrendous shite. They're poorly... But you know what's funny? All the animals... All the animals... Are terrible in okay, combat battles. <laughs> you talking about fucking up the Chinese calendar? Eh? Fucking up the Chinese calendar. Yeah, this fucking dumb shit. Made all the animals fucking horrendous. I've just zoned out there, I've just zoned out a little bit. I'm just like looking at it and just realising like the real sheer fucking stupidity of this battle right now. The Tiger Vanguard all over again. And it's not salt by the way, I'm not salty, I'm pissed off at the fact that it's got shite abilities. He's destroying the rocks as well so you can't jump up on them so therefore you're fucked. Think about it, brain dead.
Ja, ich wollte einfach noch mal ne? I done it to myself. Two points now. Upon successful hits with light attack on one we'll increased attack for a short duration. My own perfect dodge and recover a small amount of stamina. Model increased defense. Hmm, nothing on there really. <sighs> no, I can't. Uh... Amount of focus. Yeah, what did we get for it? Terrible boss. Three bosses. We get the the bear, tiger vanguard, and now the the black long. The stone boss, the stone vanguard is just slow and tedious, and yeah. So now that's like essentially all the bosses done on chapter 2. So I'm not entirely sure anymore like... Where to go or what to do. And it's also like a hit and miss on that boss that we just did there, Black Long, because sometimes it destroys the rocks, or maybe there's just one rock that sits there, but you cannot like, like literally lock onto him. You have to like lock on, do some hits, lock off, like, and try and time it. You know, with me actually like using the little guys, like there, it gave me time to actually run away and jump up onto that rock there the second time, or it most likely would not have worked out. So it's not salt, it's just some of these bosses are not designed really well. Is this idiot going to run around? Yeah, of course he has. Because he's just going to be an idiot and hit you from the back. Talk about a sphere. Rest. No. As much as, um, do you know what? Actually, I'm going to leave it on, actually. I was going to change my guard. I think I'll just leave it on.
No avoidness. Gold iron leaves. Cold iron leaves anyway. <laughs> Don't know how to get those. Okay, so I guess we just head like over here now. Um... Uh, duh, 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 duh. So we've did all the bosses there for like chapter two, so... Let's see... I, have, I think I can like upgrade on here, can't I? I guess I'd... the maximum health mana. Let's do health. The secrets of sky and earth, and thou shalt have pills. <laughs> ah, a wondrous marvel of the universe. <laughs> Okay. A skimpy small bit, okay. Not even a fraction, it's like a fraction. Right, what does he have in his store? Refinement is the way to make golden pills. What say you, brave one? Okay, two thousand five hundred, it's not really Okay, there was like a spirit, wasn't there? Like Is it Spearbone? That can't be right. I guess it must have been. I must have like tied up somewhere. Yeah, maybe that was like the one I just picked up kind of thing. Oh, it's slightly reduces cooldown of all spells. Oh, go with this, put that on, and then have that there. Slightly reduces cooldown of all spells, and then another one is. Consider grants considerable damage reduction when Gorgeous is depleted. Do you know what when you think about it? Probably better to have that one. Yeah, it's probably better to have that one because at the end of the day, it's okay like getting your spells a bit faster and like being able to like maybe use them. But the reality is Whoa! Oh, can't go up that way. There we are. Can I go this way? Besides, 
Beneath every sage, a villain resides. Beneath every mountain, an abyss lies. Yellow Windsage? I guess this is the last guy. You've done it now. Bro, he's beefy. I've no mana, I'm trying to do that. I don't know why, because the fucking mana ran out. I didn't even realize my mana ran out. Oh, okay. Literally, like, I do that all the time. I literally could have probably had him there. So let's just let's, let's get his health down before we even bother using any of these abilities. Get his, get his health down. Stop using it at the beginning. All you're doing is giving him the opportunity when it gets to the, when he gets low health to go into the stupid mode and use all the, the degenerate shit. Just get his health down, then use all the abilities so that he can't do nothing. He's trapped. Trap him. I'm the best. Of course you'd run away.
the fuck is that, Lucia? No, you don't. Sotva Lingji of New Mount Sumeru, the warden of this rat. After the great sage's passing, his six senses were scattered across the mortal realm. This thieving rat chanced upon one of them, yet hindered by his meager might, he could not absorb its power. Thus he schemed with wicked intent, a victim of his deceit. I had my hand taken by him. The sense requires such a grand container to release its power. I should bear the blame for his reign of havoc upon this ridge again. <sighs> Through your valor and sagacity, order has been restored. You are the sole worthy one to keep it. Please, keep it secure in my stead. This is so, so cool.
Oh my god. Just a nightmare. Oh, my God, it's Skander. <laughs> it's Skander. <laughs> Each of them bears a distinct root from birth, superior and inferior. None should disturb what's decided. Am I right, Sun Wukong? Chapter 2 Yellow Sound Desolate Dusk Concluded. With the wind and sand you've endured here, did you reach the Forgotten Kingdom at the end of the land? Did you find the clash of stones and the fall of Tiger's Acolyte? If you shut your ears and heed only your inner murmur, I fear the more you yearn for flawless endings, the further you'll stray from the path. Rats and cats neither grasped their destiny and yet neither admitted it. Listen closely, young one. Their complaints ride upon the wind. New relic obtained. I haven't used these relics. Level 40. Yeah, we got a core, a core. Oh, cold iron leaves. That means we like can create something for like a costume. We got like inventory here. What does this do? Um, human ears from the faintest noise capture the deepest significance. Bold ventures bring both pride and resistance. Echoes of the past can be found where karma lingers. All ears, it slightly extends invisibility duration for the first move of all varied combos. Sound is a bell, narrows the window of rock solid deflection, but returns half of the mana cost of the spell upon a deflection. Whistling wind temporarily increases attack after a perfect dodge. Ah, <sighs> still good. Okay, um. Increase the damage deal. Yes. Insult the injury. <laughs> Look at him. What minions? Get him, boys. Okay. That's awesome. So that was the end of like chapter two. We got all the bosses in there as well, all the secret bosses. So we are literally on uh, twenty. Okay, the first one was 11 and the second one was 17, so 28 bosses out of uh, 80 plus or 90 or something. I think it's like 80 plus bosses, something like that. So we still got like... Relatively... Um... Yeah, we've still got like a good 50, 60 bosses or 60 something bosses left, which is awesome. <laughs> and uh, chapter 2 is done. So yeah. Let me know what you think about the game in the video down in the comment section. Also, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Tell your friends and tell your family. It's absolutely free and doesn't cost anything. And yeah, as always, take it easy. Have a good one and goodbye.